Welcome to Classwork 6.4, Section 4.7. There's a lot of content in this particular section, so feel free to pause it whenever you need to. Today we're going to cover all of inverse functions for trigonometry. So first is right here, sine inverse x. <clears throat> so first, I just have my xy axis ready. This is going to be like your new parent graph, in case you didn't cover this in trigonometry. This is a sine inverse graph. It's basically constructed from a part of the sine wave. And there's only three main points. 1 pi over 2, the origin, and negative 1, negative pi over 2. So notice these are dots. There are no arrows here. Like that is the whole graph for sine inverse x. So you're going to want to really make a, like a note here, like really box this thing. This is something you're going to want to memorize. This is like a parent graph. Like if I ask you, what is sine inverse x? You should be able to graph this from memory. The domain, as we can see, is negative 1 to 1. The range is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. OK, so that's our basic graph. Now, if I ask you to transform the graph on the right here, you should have no problem. This 2 means take the y value times it by 2. And this 1 half, we'll do the reciprocal operation, so x times 2 over 1, which is x times 2. So let's just play with the scale here. This is going to become pi and negative pi on the y-axis. And the x-axis is negative 2 and 2. Now put your exact same three points there. And there you go. There is your graph. Done. Now, in terms of finding some values now, it says find the exact value of sine inverse of root 2 over 2. So recall, all right, recall, on our speed quizzes, I give you like sine of pi over 4, and you give me a value, right? That's root 2 over 2. So think about it this way. Sine of some angle is going to yield some length. To be technical, it's a ratio of lengths, but for now, let's just call it a length. So the inverse function will do the reverse of that. It's going to take the length or the ratio, and it wants to give you back an angle. So for all of these, your answer should be some type of angle. Now, if you're looking at this thing, sine inverse of root 2 over 2, the issue is that root 2 over 2 happens in two places on the circle, right? If you imagine your circle. Root 2 over 2 happens both in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So to fix that, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of this. You simply just draw quadrants 1 and 4 like that, because that will cover every possible value for sine. That's all the y values. And then mark where root 2 over 2 would be. That's right there in quadrant 1. And that angle is pi over 4. So there's your answer. So in our notes, I'm going to send it back up here. For the range, see how we have negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 right above that? This right sign right there. So that's a visual representation of quadrants 1 and 4. So for the next example, same thing. You highlight 1 and 4. That's where sign, so the range of the inverse function would be. I'm going to put a tick mark where negative half would be. And the answer is now negative 30. Now, a lot of people want to write 330, but that is not correct. Now, the reason for that is because 330, you'd have to travel outside the range, which you can't travel outside the range of the function. The only way you do that is by traveling from 0 straight down to there, which, again, would be negative 30. So make sure you always stay within the range. Next one. For cosine. Very similar here. Actually, I should fix this. We don't want a t, or we don't want an x like that. We want a t. So have a t like that. We're going to put negative 1 to 1. There's 0, pi, pi over 2. So same thing. It's constructed by simply taking a piece of the cosine wave, and then you just flip over the y equals x line. But for you guys, you're going to want to memorize this as like a parent graph. Okay, so again, you're going to want to box that. 
memorize. These are your new pattern graphs in trigonometry. You need to have these down. The domain we can see here is negative one to one. The range, zero to pi. So if I want to do some transformations here, I'm gonna change right here. We can see y times one half. That is x times one half. So let's shrink the y values. This is pi over two, pi over four. And let's shrink the x values. That's negative one half, positive one half. And then let's redraw the graph. There we go. So there's our cosine inverse wave with the transformations applied. Now for finding the values, very similar to sine, we're going to highlight two quadrants. For cosine, as you can see at the range right here, 0 to pi is right there. So we can think of cosine like 1 and 2. So highlight quadrants 1 and 2. You're going to mark where negative root 3 over 2 would happen. That is right here. And that would be 150 degrees or 5 pi over 6. I'll just circle 5 pi over 6. Both are fine. So for the next one, cosine inverse of negative half. Let's put our circle. Negative 1 half is right there. That angle would be 2 pi over 3. Done. Tangent. So the tangent graph is probably the most interesting one. There are actually two horizontal asymptotes, pi over two and negative pi over two. And that because, that's because from the inverse, you just reflect it over the y equals x. So the vertical asymptotes of the original become the horizontals. We're gonna put negative one to one. Then this is simply the halfway point, pi over four, negative pi over four. And this graph is pretty cool. It looks like a cubic, or a cube root graph. It's basically a tan graph on its side. And there's our tan inverse graph. The domain is going to be all real numbers, as we can see. And the range is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, but it's non inclusive since we have those horizontal asymptotes there. And since the range is the same as uh, sine, pretty much, tan is also quadrants 1 and 4, like that. So you're gonna highlight quadrants one and four. Think about root three, that's in quadrant one at the top. That is 60 degrees or pi over three. Either one of these answers, perfectly fine. Okay, so that's part one.